Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this exciting Mr. Media tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to make a garbage mat inside of DaVinci Resolve and we're going to use this to make a sweet looking white background. So in Resolve we have this shot, it looks super cheap because I shot it in my dining room. So I just opened up the door here, put a white sheet outside, made it look like that. So you know, that's pretty lame, but we can cut this door out really easily. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new node and we'll call this mat, spelled like that. So go to our qualifiers, we will go ahead and add a curve and just go and draw a little spline around our subject here. Very cool looking. I'll go ahead and make this a little bit tighter than it needs to be because we're gonna keyframe it. But first, add just a little bit of softness and you'll see one of the really cool things with mats inside of DaVinci Resolve is that you can do pervertex feathering, which is super super nice. So, now to keyframe it, go ahead and enable keyframing on corrector 2, which, you know, Black Magic Design, if you're listening to this, you should put the label for the node down in the keyframes tab because that would make it a lot easier. Anyway, so keyframing is enabled. Go ahead and just nudge this a little bit. That makes a dynamic keyframe. Go to the beginning. Move this guy where it needs to be. Very cool, very modern. If anyone watches Kroll Show and gets and gets the European reference there, you know, we can be friends. All right, so move this. Looks like it's sticking okay, but we'll go ahead and refine it a little bit because, you know, what else are you gonna do on a Sunday afternoon as I'm filming this than keyframe? So there, that's looking fine. So in order to get this mat to actually work as a mat, you're gonna need to output this alpha channel. And in order to do that, you're going to have to, funnily enough, add an alpha output. So just right clicking in your node window, add alpha output, you get this sweet little blue output thing here, which matches up with your blue triangle on your mat. Go ahead and drag that over and whoa, whoa, look at that. We have something that looks worse than before. So in order to fix this, we're gonna go over to our edit page and go to effects library, generators, and they pick this solid color. Bring this below, go ahead and shorten it up so things are nice. Select your solid color, change it in the inspector to white, hit okay. Ooh, angry face there, let's go back. And just like that, we are looking pretty good. So if you need to clean this up a little bit, you can go in your first node and you can sort of do some corrections. Make sure that your whites are actually white so they match up with the white background. So you can just do that, bumping up your gain a little bit. If it's really difficult, you can qualify it. Maybe I'll do that in a later tutorial. I definitely do have some footage where I need to do that. So if you're interested in seeing that, let me know in the comments. You can also go into our curves and another little tip for cleaning up white backgrounds is go to luminance first saturation and just bring down the saturation and the highlights. So what this is, is you can see darks here, brights here, and then this is the overall saturation. So you can see our brightest areas are going to be at zero saturation. So they're totally white, which is exactly what we want. And we're going to bring our darks down a little bit and then just add some saturation on our midtones so that, you know, looks like a human and not like a photograph. I don't know whatever else is black and white. And the great thing about mats is they don't care about the corrections that you make before them because they're not uh, qualifiers. You can do all this beforehand, which is just nice for my brain making things make sense. So this is a pretty nice natural looking shot. I might you know, contrast that up a little bit more. Actually, I'll do that a different way. I will add contrast here, change the pivot, and that's looking pretty nice and natural. So you can see before crappy video in Theo's dining room, after $50,000 commercial. So you too can make stuff look good. So this is great for if you are, especially if you're just sort of starting out and needing to build up a reel, you can make people think that you shot in like, you know, a $2,000 a day studio whenever it's really just a window with a sheet behind it. So you put the sheet outside so it's in the bright sunlight. You stand inside so you're in the shade so the sheet way over overexposes. I put a little light on this side so that, you know, I wasn't totally in shadow. You can use a reflector or anything. So super cheap, but it looks super expensive. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Mies New Media YouTube channel. If you want even more goodness, check out MiesNewMedia.com slash products. We got LUTs. We got power grades. We got light leaks. There may be some new stuff coming soon. So watch out for that. Once again, I've been Theo with Mies New Media. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.